Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal for those of you who are new here and welcome to my fashion and lifestyle channel. If you are not new, then welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my fall jacket collection. Now these aren't all the fall jackets that I have, but these are the ones that I'm the most excited about, even though I am excited to wear all of my fall outerwear, but these are just the jackets, like the lightweight jackets. I think a few of them are a little bit thicker than others, but for the most part, these jackets is what I wear when the weather is in between like in the 50s and like the low 70s, or even like in the 40s. I don't consider 40s like really cold where you need like thick outerwear, but yeah, so I'm gonna share with you guys. I think I have about 13 jackets to share with you guys. So we're gonna try to make this quick. I'm gonna share them, talk a little bit about them and try them on for you guys. Um, a lot of these are old. Some of them I've had in my wardrobe for a few years. So um, if I do have anything that is still available, I will link it down in the description box. So just be sure to check down there. Otherwise, if you wanna see my fall jacket collection, just keep watching. All right, so this is the first jacket that I want to share with you guys. And this one I think I got from Shein a couple of years ago, I want to say. And it's just like one of those like varsity jackets. And I love this one. It's black and white, so it goes with everything. And I'm going to try to try these on without hopefully covering up my mic so you guys can hear me. But um, yeah, I just love this one because it's very like sporty, kind of sporty chic a little bit. Let me fix my little mic here so you guys can hear me and I'm not covering up the mic. Um, but yeah, so it's just kind of like a sporty kind of, you can make it chic, but it's definitely like a sporty jacket. And with this one, I probably would just like wear kind of like what I'm wearing now. I just have on a vest, one of these sweater vests I got from ASOS. I think this is out of stock. Um, but yeah, I would just wear like a sleeveless vest like this because it is very much so a like thick, not kind of thick material so I can do away with not having sleeves because I have my jacket so um because I don't one thing I don't like about jackets or just outerwear in general is you can't really wear anything too thick with them um unless it's like really oversized because it's just too tight and uncomfortable so and you want to be comfortable when you're wearing outerwear so um but yeah this one is definitely comfortable just with like a sleeveless like you know a little vest like this that's like knitted so but yeah it's definitely giving me like all the rock star vibes i think it's a dupe of a higher end type of jacket that was um, trending last year but i'm gonna wear this this year because i like i said i love it it's a cute jacket to wear to um, one of my son's basketball games because he plays basketball so of course i need outerwear to be going all over traveling all over you know to go see him play ball so but absolutely love this jacket and definitely am looking forward to styling it up so stay tuned um because you probably will see some videos or photos of something or you know some you know along those lines of me styling up this jacket so but yeah this is the first one from shein all right here's the next one and this one is the example of one that's kind of thick so this one is from zara and i got it in extra large i don't know what i got that first one what size is in because it's not even printed on the jacket so but i know it's from shein because they're infamous for not having a tag on their stuff <laughs> um but yeah so this one is from zara and it's just like i don't know what kind of jacket it is like a bomber i guess this is somewhat like a bomber jacket and it has like a little um pocket here on the sleeve detail and i love this camel color this will be cute styled up with like um some camel trousers to kind of do that casual chic kind of look so um and i love this one because it's cropped and it's also just like nice and warm and cozy so this one the sleeves are kind of like wide if you can see that so this one i can definitely wear with like a top with some sleeves on it but because it is thick it would be better to wear with like a top like this a sleeveless top like this um like this sweater vest that i have on so but i love this jacket it's really nice and cozy and warm just feels like you're wearing you know a little blanket or something like a fleece blanket like it is so warm and so comfortable i actually think i got this like the end of last year um, or maybe it might've been the beginning of the year because I really didn't get a chance to really wear this a lot. Um, I tend to get jackets when they go on sale, like towards the end of the season, because that's when things go on sale. So, um, so I'm sure that's what happened with this jacket, but I just love it because again, like I said, it's got that crop detail. It's really cropped. So definitely am looking forward to wearing this one for the fall and probably winter season too. I probably wear this into the winter because again, it is a very thick piece that I can wear again like i said in the winter time so that is the next one from zara 
and it is a camo bomber jacket and definitely love this one. All right, and the next jacket is going to be this one and this is like a quilted jacket. This is really thin. I got this from Koss last year. It might've been the beginning of this year when I got this one. I think I got it on sale. Um, so yeah, it kind of reminds me of those barn jackets that I told y'all in one of my trends videos that I probably would not be wearing. So this is a compromise for me because I, I don't really like those barn jackets. Um, but this is kind of similar, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, this will do, this will kind of help me to be trendy, I guess, you know, with that whole barn jacket, um, styles, this is kind of similar. So, but yeah, it's just one of these quilted jackets and this is super thin. So, um, I would have to layer up with this if I plan on wearing it in the winter time, cause it's thin. Um, but it is a nice lightweight jacket to just, you know, add a little bit of warmth and, um, some layering of just a light layers is what I would call this. So, um, but yeah, again, it looks really nice. I like like the little slit here. I think this is, this slit is on either side of the jacket. So, um, and I just love the quilting detail. It just kind of adds a little bit of something different and interesting to the um, jacket. Um, just kind of gives it some texture. So just to add texture to the outfit and depth into the look. Um, but yeah, this actually looks good. What I have on this, it's like in this khaki or light beige kind of color. So definitely giving me barn jacket vibes, but definitely love this jacket. Only thing is that the zipper detail is in the silver tone, which I'm a gold girl. I'm a golden girl. I like to wear gold, but it still works. And like I said, like I said in other videos, I like to mix metals or I'm trying to like mix metals. So I'm not too pressed about the metals not being the same color. So, um, but yeah, love this jacket again. I think I got this in a large from Koss and it definitely kind of fits oversized too, considering it's a large, but um, definitely looking forward to wearing this one. Like I said, I got it um, the beginning of the year, so I don't think I got to wear this one as much. So this will probably be one of the main ones that I wear just because it's, it's thin. And right now in the South, it's not that cold. So we can do, but we could do away with like a light layer, like in the evening when like it starts to get cold and you know, the sun's not out. So something to wear at night so but definitely love this jacket looking forward to wearing it and again it is from cost all right here is the next jacket it's again another bomber jacket i don't know i have a bomber jacket obsession i just love them i just love to style them up with something feminine just that creates that juxtaposition of something very tough because this as you can see is very tough looking jacket and it's in like this brownish kind of black color i don't know if you can see if the camera is showing the color of it but it's like a dark chocolate brown but it's like uh distressed if you will so um maybe you can see it better here so just kind of has that distressing or distressed kind of look so it kind of gives it a vintage kind of vibe um and this i got from zara as you can see from zara and i got it in a extra large so this again will be perfect for what i'll have on now um because the sleeves on this one um yeah they're not as like um wide so that i can wear something like thick um i probably could wear a long sleeve shirt but it definitely can't be like a thick knit or anything like that with this so but jackets to me are like light layers right so when you wear a jacket you probably want to wear something light underneath it so it just provides a little bit of light layering so um but yeah and this one is cropped as you can see and i have a short torso so um they don't look as cropped on me as they would with someone who probably had like a longer torso but i like the way where, where these crop jackets go on me they just kind of go right here above my hips um or my natural waist so but yeah i just love like that vintage vibe it definitely looks like something that was lived in something that you might have gotten from the thrift store or something so but definitely excited about wearing this one again i don't think i wore this one as much during the fall and winter season last year because i think this one is also fairly new in my wardrobe so but zara i feel like zara come out with jackets like this every year so um again um i think i told you guys in the beginning of the video if i do have anything that is still available i will link it i'll try to find something similar in case you're looking for maybe something similar as far as the style then i'll try to find something and link it down in the description box so just be sure to check down there if i did find anything so but yeah so this is this jacket from zara this bomber jacket and like this vintage kind of detail so definitely looking forward to wearing this one for the fall and winter season all right and here's the next jacket this is similar to the last one except this has like this faux shirling type of texture or lining to it and this one again is another one from zara zara do really good outerwear so if you're looking for some trendy 
or not even trendy, but just like some good quality outerwear. Um, I definitely highly recommend Zara as well as Mango. Those are two of my favorite sh places to shop, as y'all know. Um, of course, or you can go to the thrift store to find like bomber jackets or like these like aviator style jackets, I think is what they called. And this one, I think I got two years ago. So this one, I don't think is new. Um, but this one is really big. Let me see what size did I get this in. This is in a size extra large. So I think it's kind of big on me. Yeah, I remember this one kind of being big. So with this one, because it is a bit oversized, um, like the sleeves are very wide. So I definitely can wear like a thick sweater underneath it. But because this thing is so thick, I don't even need to wear anything, you know, too thick underneath it. Because number one, I'll burn up. <laughs> and number two, it's just, it's already going to provide me enough warmth. Like I can even go with just this um, sleeveless vest, knit, knitted vest that I have on to be fine because the outer or the inner part of it is um, has the shirling because you know how some of these jackets, all the, the shirling liner can just stop right here in right here in this um, sleeve, which is wild to me, which is crazy. But this goes all the way um, into the sleeve. Um, yeah, into the uh, arm sleeve. So, but yeah, I love this jacket. This definitely gives me like aviator, like um tom cruise <laughs> vibes um all i need is like some aviator glasses and i'm top gun <laughs> so but yeah i love this jacket again i like to wear jackets like this juxtaposed with like something feminine like maybe a dress um or like a you know silk skirt or something or satin skirt midi skirt something like that just something feminine matched with this very tough jacket because it definitely looks like a men's jacket um and i, I i'm trying to think if i got this from the men's section because it definitely looks like a men's jacket and kind of fits me like a men's jacket but I can't remember but anywho I just love it I just love the look of it just how it looks on me it just yeah definitely like I said definitely gives me like that tough edgy look um and then the, the outfit that I have on is kind of feminine so um yeah I like just to kind of create some juxtaposition with this type of jacket so but and I absolutely love the thickness here um on the sleeve here on the cuff that's definitely um, something that I love as far as the details of this. So, but definitely love this jacket and definitely looking forward to it. And again, it is from Zara. All right, and here's the next jacket. And this one is a fun jacket. Um, this one, I actually have one similar to this in silver. And this I got from Shein a couple years ago, maybe. And it is a sequin jacket. So, so you know, really fun. Um, this is definitely a standout piece because of these sequins. Um, but this, you can style it up. I feel like you can style this up um, and make it multi-purpose. Um, uh, like I can style this with some jeans. So this, because it is more of a dressier piece, I definitely would have to wear something more um, casual with it. So this will look cute with like maybe my track pants. I have some black track pants that will look cute with this. So I'm going to style up my track pants and wear this um, sequin jacket because you can wear sequins any time of the year. It doesn't have to be a special occasion. So like I said, you can just style it up in such a way that you know you kind of bring it down so it's not so dressy um and it's a bomber jacket so it kind of it's kind of casual anyway just because of the fact that it's a bomber jacket so bomber jackets to me aren't you know dressy pieces aren't dressy outerwear so um but yeah i love this one i can't remember what size i got this in and i'm gonna tell you it's not the best quality either so it's from it's uh, extra large um yeah, it's not the best quality and <laughs> do some of the sequins fall off yes absolutely um but they don't fall off that easy like when i rub my hand on my sleeve that they're not falling off or anything like that but if they get caught up on something they're definitely going to come off so it's held up okay <laughs> um i think the silver one is a little bit i think it's a little bit more out of shape <laughs> and um a little bit more uh fragile than this one just because you can see the silver you know the silver sequence more so than you can these black ones but yeah, I love this jacket. Looking forward to wearing it. Like I said, I'm gonna wear this and style this up with my black bomber or my black um, track pants from Adidas and maybe like some heels. So like dressy, but something casual, but something dressy. I don't know what kind of top I'd wear with it, but maybe a button up shirt, maybe. Um, but yeah, this is a cute jacket. I love it. Like I said, I have it also in a silver color as well. And yeah, from Shein, you know, just a, can't go wrong with just a statement piece. So um, and then like the zipper detail is like in this ring kind of a detail here. So, but yeah, looking forward to wearing this for um, the fall and winter season. Like a lot of these jackets I could have worn, you know, in the um, spring and summer because 
I get cold inside. So some of these jackets I could have worn then, but a lot of them I just really don't want to wear until like the fall and winter season. I just feel like I just want to keep them, you know, for the fall and winter season because it's my favorite time of the year for as far as fashion. So, so a lot of these I could wear other times of the year. Um, but I'm calling them fall and winter jackets because I prefer to wear them in the fall and the winter time. So, but yeah, that's the next one from Shein. It's this sequin little jacket here. And yeah, looking forward to styling it up for the season. All right. So here is another bomber jacket. I clearly have a type <laughs> and my type is bomber jackets. I think the rest of these jackets, no, I have one more bomber jacket, I think to share with you guys. <laughs> so, but you know, you can't go wrong with the bomber jacket um because they're jackets that's what they do they're just a lightweight you know jacket or light lightweight battle bear this one is not lightweight <laughs> this one is very much so thick so i probably could wear i still would consider it a jacket because it's a bomber jacket um and so yeah so it's this one and it's in this like sharper sherpa material or fleece or whatever you want to call it but i love like the stripe detail here on the cuff as well as on the sleeve. So this, I feel like makes it more casual. It makes it more sporty chic. This I got from, I think Macy's, because it's from the brand International Concepts or INC, which I think is a Macy's brand. But I definitely got this um, in the men's section. I do remember uh, we were shopping at Macy's, I think over the holidays, and um, I saw this in the men's, um, in the men's department and I got it in extra large. So I had to get it. I think it was the last one or something like that, but it was on sale. And um, again, like I said, I have a type. I love a good bomber jacket. So I saw this and again, just gave me just all the vibes, right? Like it looks like a fur coat really with like some um, like sporty detail to it, if you will. So this one, I definitely can wear like a thick, top underneath it because it is the sleeves are pretty wide so I can get, do away with wearing maybe like a sweater not too thick of a sweater because again I will burn up because this is already made out of fleece material so um but yeah only thing about it is it kind of sheds a little bit like when I press my hands on it it's not shedding too bad but you probably can see in the camera like some of the yeah it's not actually that bad though um but yeah it just kind of has a little fuzzies going everywhere but um yeah, I love this jacket. It's definitely like that sporty vibe again. And this one is fairly long. It goes past past my bottom. So, um, but I love it. It's, I definitely love it. It's definitely a cozy jacket. Again, one of those jackets that um, I can wear and transition into like the winter season when it gets a little bit cold. And I don't want to wear like a long jacket or a long coat, I should say, because a lot of my coats if not most of my coats or all my coats are long and sometimes you don't want like a long coat to wear um, but you want something thick so this is like the perfect kind of happy medium for me um, like I said um, it's definitely a jacket that I probably um, would wear with just like a light layer underneath it um, or a light piece like a light button-up shirt or like a light like layering um, turtleneck or something just kind of like because yeah, again, I would burn up if I, you know, put too much underneath this. So, but just a perfect, perfect outerwear piece to style up and to create a just casual, chic, and maybe edgy. Yeah, those would probably be the words I would describe this jacket as. But absolutely love it and definitely looking forward to wearing it for the fall and winter season. And again, it is from Macy's. All right, so no more bomber jackets for right now. We'll get into like, um, what are these jackets? Like biker jackets? Yeah, I think we'll call these biker jackets. I picked this one out because I, this one's really old in my wardrobe, but I picked it out because it's brown and we know brown is a huge trend right now. And I don't have a lot of brown jackets, but I'm looking forward to styling this up because I have a lot of brown pieces and I want to do like a monochromatic brown look. So I feel like this will be a good outerwear piece to wear with like a brown, um, like brown sweater and like some brown um, trousers or like a brown skirt. I have a few brown pieces in my wardrobe, so I want to create just a monochromatic brown look. So I'm looking forward to wearing this jacket to do that. So this is a, just like a little bomber jacket that I got from Mango. Let me see what size I got this in. Um, Cause I forgot to tell y'all what size. So this I got in a size large and love the color of this jacket love brown here lately i've been loving brown anyway um but this is just how it looks so just kind of one of those classic um biker jackets if you will only thing is i wish the little lapels would kind of stay back here but they are so like wide so 
um they're just kind of hard to stay back but i think it has a place where i can kind of like button it up or somewhere it has like a button like a little popper here so i'm trying to figure out where in the world i would have to button it up i can't see but I don't see one but anywho so this is how it looks so just a standard just you know running run of the mill biker jacket just in this brown color because most biker jackets come in black right are the most of the basic ones that you see um, are black so i love the fact that this is brown and just kind of softens the look a little bit so definitely would be cute with like neutral outfits um like i said i want to do a monochromatic look with this jacket so so glad i kept it because i've had this in my wardrobe for a few years now probably maybe three or four years i've had this brown jacket and i don't wear that wear it as much um and it's definitely in really good shape so looking forward to styling it up for the fall and winter season so but yeah so that's the next jacket and it is this brown bomber jacket or not bomber jacket we i have i have, I have so many bomber jackets that i'm just it's hard for me to say anything else other than bomber jacket but yeah this brown um biker jacket from mango all right, here is the next jacket that I'm going to share with you guys. And this one is probably my favorite one. And I know that's a bold statement because I have a lot of jackets. And even the ones I'm sharing with you guys aren't even all of the ones I have. I'm just sharing the ones that I'm the most excited to wear. Um, not that I'm not going to wear any of my other ones, but these are like the most, the ones that I'm going to, that I'm excited to wear the most. Um, but this one is probably my favorite only because it is the only one that I have that's thrifted from the thrift store. Well, I didn't get it from the thrift store. I bought it online. Um, a fellow YouTuber here, she was selling it years ago, <laughs> years ago. Like, like when I first, like I want to say before I started making YouTube videos, I bought this from a, a fellow YouTuber. Um, and I think her name Philly Diva. I don't think she makes videos as much anymore, but yeah, she was selling this doing a closet sale and I saw it and I had to scoop it up and I've had it for probably maybe six years. I think I've been on YouTube, what, four or five years now. So yeah, I think I had this thing for six years and it is a, as you guys can see, it's, it looks like a blazer. Um, but we're going to go ahead and call it a jacket, <laughs> but it definitely looks like a blazer and it's uh, obviously in this camel print and this one is really thin too. So I definitely have to wear like a shirt, like a long sleeve shirt with this. Nothing too, I won't wear anything too thick with it. Um, again, this is perfect to wear now when the weather is just not too cold, but yeah, this is probably my favorite jacket slash blazer, but we're going to call it a jacket because yeah, we, we talking about jackets. We, we're not talking about blazers. But if you want to see like my blazer collection, which my blazer, my blazer collection is out of control, y'all. Like I couldn't even share with you guys in one or two videos my blazer collection. Like it would probably be a two to three hour video, like seriously, <laughs> especially as much as I talk in as many blazers as I have. But if you guys, I can break it down and like do like maybe plaid blazers or pattern blazers. I can do uh, solid or colorful or um, leather because I have so many like literally I probably have more blazers than I do anything in my wardrobe because I love them um, but anyway if you guys want to see a blazer collection let me know um, but anywho so yeah so this is um, a really nice um, lightweight jacket that I just absolutely love and I will never get rid of it and like it, it carries a, a significance to me because of the fact that it is thrifted uh, secondhand so um i'm proud of my secondhand stuff when i find like good solid secondhand pieces those are the pieces that i cherish the most because they have a story may, they may not be my story but they have a story and you know um you know recycling is always a good thing and yeah i just cherish those pieces because they're like one of a kind pieces really so um and this is definitely what this is every time i wear it i always get people asking where it's from um so yeah but I think they have some on Amazon. Like I said, I'll try to link down below anything similar that I um, share with you guys. But yeah, definitely love this this um, jacket, lightweight jacket. So yeah, looking forward to styling it up. And yeah, I can't wait to style this up in like probably more of a sporty way. Because, you know, camo is mainly when we style up camo was mainly in a sporty way. So I mean, I can wear it with what I have on now and maybe throw on some sneakers or something. That'll be a cute, that'll be a cute vibe. It's kind of like a mixture of like this edginess with this camo and then like, you know, some casual chic from this outfit. So, but yeah, looking forward to wearing 
this lightweight jacket for the fall and winter season so and it is thrifted all right guys we are getting down we are getting down to the nitty-gritty here all right so this is the next one and it's a denim jacket but not just any regular old smegular denim jacket this one has a lot of detail to it so it has like these um pearl details as well as well as like some like studded details here um kind of like in, in intertwined with the uh pearl so yeah here's like a studded detail here so um and it has it also on the back so i have to be careful when i do wear this because my if i wear if i if i wear this and my hair is down my hair get gets caught up in these pearls so i tend to wear my hair up um when i wear this jacket but yeah so this is a jacket that i got i think a couple of years ago from amazon and i think it's still available so i will link it down below if it is but it's just a denim jacket and um we know like embellishments or the really studs are really huge right now can't really say pearls are but i feel like pearls are classic that's a classic thing that doesn't really go out of style and can be worn um year round so i'm gonna turn around and kind of share with you guys what it looks like on but yeah definitely love this jacket and i think i got it in an extra large um, and I think it also comes in black. I've been tempted for the last few years to get the black one too, but just haven't. Um, I think I got it in an extra large. Yeah, got this in an extra large. And yeah, it's just a good, this is a good layering piece too. A good light, you know, light layer um, to wear with like maybe a t-shirt underneath it and then a jacket. I mean, you know, denim jackets, I feel like um, are very versatile, can be warm with, you know, everything. And this one in particular, I'm looking forward to wearing because of the fact that it has this extra detail as far as with the um, pearl details. So it's a denim jacket, but it kind of adds a little bit of detail. We know denim is huge. Denim is always huge, right? But it's trendy for whatever reason now. Our different like iterations of denim um, styles are trending right now. So this is what I would call like a, you know, a different type of iteration to denim is going to be with like detail to it. So but yeah, so I'm in, you know, very, in, you know, excited to style this up. Um, I don't think I wear this as much. I think mainly when my hair was longer before I cut it, it actually grew back now. But when it was longer, I didn't wear it as much because my hair kept getting caught up in it. But um, yeah, I like to wear this. I mean, you can't really need to have your hair up, right? When you wear something like this, because you want the pearl detail to show. So but yeah, this is from Amazon. Like I said, I will link it down below in the description box. And I think it also comes in a black. So I will link either one. I'll link them both or because I think maybe they are from the same like site. Like you can choose to get the denim one or the blue denim or the black denim. So either way, I'll try to link it down below. It's also, I think, on my Amazon storefront too, which I do have in case you guys are interested in seeing like a lot of my favorites from Amazon that I've purchased over the years or just things that I just love from Amazon. I do have an Amazon storefront, so you can check that out too. Um, but yeah, so that is the next jacket and that is this denim one from Amazon that I am so excited to be wearing and styling up so many different ways. This is just like literally like probably a hundred ways you can style this up. So, um, but let me know if you guys want to see a video where I style this up. As a matter of fact, I'm never mind because I I'm gonna do a denim video where I style up denim or a lot of the denim pieces in my wardrobe. So stay tuned for that. This will probably be in that video. So, all right. So that is the next one. All right. And here's the next one, and it is also another fun one. This one I got from Zara. I think last year. I think I'd asked you guys if you've been following me for a minute. I asked you guys because um, I bought three silver um uh little jackets like this what do you call these biker jackets i bought like three of these i think one of them actually is kind of like a denim type of a type of a look i still have all three but out of the three i think i like this one the most so it's a biker jacket and as you can see in this silver metallic i don't know if silver metallic is still trending i know it was huge last year so i don't know if it's still a trending thing but i'm gonna wear this girl because i have three of these and they're gonna get worn child um this one i got in a size extra large so um it's just fun right like all the outerwear that i have is like neutral and i think i only had like one pattern and that was the camo but sometimes it's good to just add a little funness to your outfit right and most of the time when you wear outerwear that's all people can see is the outerwear they can't really see the the what you have underneath it right so it's good to have like some fun outerwear so this is like my spun like personality statement piece um in this silver tone and as you can see it is cropped on me it goes just above my natural waist just a little bit above if not right at it and then it has this belt detail which i hate because 
every time you walk this thing makes noise um, but I don't think I can detach this or take it off or maybe I can um, no I can't so it's attached so I can't even like remove it um, but it's not that big of a deal um, but yeah so looking forward to styling this up in this like I said it's got this silver metallic um, you know color and I like it because it looks like it's kind of um, like worn in if you will like a worn in type of a silver metallic if you can tell so it just kind of looks it looks kind of vintage you know like it looks like something I may have uh, you know could have gotten from the vintage like a vintage thrift store or something um, but it definitely has like that distressed kind of silver metallic feel to it so but it's very comfortable and lightweight so again I'll you know can wear what I have on something like what I have on now because I have a ton of this by the way <laughs> So I feel like, the, you know, like lightweight out, outerwear, I would probably just wear one of my mini vests and I have a lot of sweater vests too. So, um, so that's just kind of like my hack when I'm wearing these type, this type of outerwear. I don't, like I said, I don't want my arms to be restricted, um, but most of them give me lots of room anyway. But one way to, cont you know, keep from being so restricted with my sleeves is to put on one of my mini, um, vest, whether it be just like a regular vest like this, like a, um, knitted vest or like more of a suit suiting type vest um, or just like a light layer like a light I have a lot of light um, turtlenecks that are very light layered and very thin um, so I can just wear with that so um, but yeah very excited to wear this again it is from Zara and yeah super excited to style it up for the fall season all right here's the next one you guys have probably seen this one over the summer so I was kind of debating whether I wanted to put this one in here because I've been wearing this one <laughs> in the summertime so I don't know if this was kind of cheating because I was like I said I was this video was about you know fall jackets that I'm excited to wear or jackets that I'm excited to wear for the fall and this is the only one that I've worn you know this over the summertime so yeah I guess I'm excited to wear it for the fall too so yeah we're gonna put it we're gonna include it in here in case you haven't seen it um but i feel like this one probably be one that i'll wear more in the fall season because it is in this leopard print so um i told you guys i just have mainly just solid color jackets so this is probably besides the camo this one is the other um printed jacket that i have that i just love and i just recently got this i think in the spring i got this from amazon um they have one another option i haven't looked on there recently so i don't i could be telling y'all wrong but i think they have another option that has like tassels on it which I was kind of debating whether or not I wanted to get that one, but um, I have this one, so I'm, I'm not going to get that one, but I think that's another option if you want to add a little extra detail um, or want something with more detail. They do, I think they do have an option with like some, um, like the little tassels or something on it too. So, but I just wanted one just plain because the, the leopard print is doing the most, you know, already. So you don't really need a whole lot. So, and we know leopard print is trending right now, you know, very much so. So, this just kind of adds um, or, you know, carries over in that trend or adds to that trend. So for me, um, but yeah, I love it. And I love like the leopard print of this because it looks like real leopard print. Uh, I just kind of have a thing when I wear leopard print, it's got to look like leopard print. Like it's got to look like the animal. I don't want nothing that looks like some kind of cartoon or anything. So, but I love this one. It's in the bomber jacket type of style as well. Clearly, like I said, I have a type of little bomber jacket. So, and it's very thin. And the, as you can see, the sleeve is super wide. So I can wear like a thick um, sweater or something underneath it if I want to add some warmth to my outfit or some wa warmth to the look. So, um, and it's, you know, um, not too long. It's not cropped, but it's not too long either. So just kind of like right here at my bottom or the top of my bottom here. So, but yeah, I love this this jacket um definitely just adds a little statement definitely it's like a little good personality piece to your outfit so i'm um, looking forward to styling it again for the fall season because i've already been styling it up in the summer so looking forward to wearing it more you know more so with like some of my sweaters and like my sweater dresses and yeah and some of like my two-piece sets like jogger sets yeah this definitely will look good you know good with those items so but yeah stay tuned to see me style this up even further for this fall season so but yeah so this is the next one and i got it from amazon all right and this is the very last jacket again it's a bomber jacket i think that's what these are let me know if i'm like calling these bomber jackets and they're not <laughs> but i feel like all of these that i said but are bomber jackets are bomber jackets so this one is definitely one and this one is like in this 
I don't know what this fabric is. You guys can kind of see it. Um, it definitely looks like an old man, <laughs> like a grandpa type of a jacket, but this is from the men's section from H&M. I think I got this last year because I remember getting it um, from an H&M out of town. I think when we went to Destin, I think it might've been a year ago. Yeah, as a matter of fact, a year ago this month, we went to Destin. I think it was Destin for fall break last year i think it was and i got we went to um to like a little mall they had there it was like outdoors and i we popped into h&m for something else um but i saw this and so because i love burgundy i think i really was on a burgundy kick last year burgundy been, has been trending for a minute now like uh, burgundy really is is trending but burgundy to me i feel like it's a classic color that comes around every fall and winter season so yeah and it's a color that i love because it's in the red family red is my favorite color so i'll always wear burgundy so that's why i got this jacket um because i love it um i love the color of it and i think i just needed like a little light jacket um because it was a little chilly and i don't think i brought a jacket so that's why i got this one from h m and um i got it in i think it's i think it's an extra large but like i said it's from the men's section yeah it, uh it's extra large or it's a extra large from the men's section at H&M so and it's really long kind of goes down a little bit to a little bit past my butt or maybe to my butt here and um it's really thin or yeah really thin and the sleeves are light so I can wear some uh, like a uh, thick sweater again underneath this as well um I'm actually going to be styling this up soon so stay tuned um, I have a Pinterest inspired outfit that I want to recreate for you guys and it's going to feature this. So stay tuned for that because um, I have another piece I also recently got um, that I'm going to style with this. So, but you'll see the video soon. So stay tuned to so like and subscribe, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos if you are new. Um, but yeah, this was very, probably very affordable, very cheap. And I probably can find, find these, you know, everywhere right now because burgundy again is a trending color armor jackets are a trending popular type of a jacket to wear in the fall season so i probably can find something similar if not find the exact thing on h&m because i feel like they come out every year with the same stuff <laughs> just in different versions so but yeah but this is the last jacket and it is from h&m All right, guys, that's it. Those are all the jackets that I am looking forward to wearing for the fall and winter season. Some of these are probably transition and wear into the winter season, especially the more thicker coats or more thicker jackets, I should say. Because all these are jackets. I haven't shown you guys any coats. If you want to see a coat collection, let me know. Um, I probably am not going to do that until it gets cold. <laughs> Cause it's not cold here um so and i don't even have my coats out at all so I, I think all i have out now is like trench coats just because those aren't as thick as like a wool coat so if you guys want to see like or even if you want to see like my trench coat collection like any kind of collection that you guys want to see let me know because i have pretty extensive wardrobe a lot of things are kind of old though so i don't think i have anything new but if you just want to see a collection if you're new here haven't seen anything um, in my wardrobe and you're interested in seeing um then let me know down in the comments um but yeah let me know which of these jackets that i shared with you guys is your favorite uh, like i said the camouflage the camo one is definitely my favorite um, just because of the significance of it, it being thrifted and just being a unique piece. Um, that one and I don't know, I think that one probably is definitely one of my favorite ones. Yeah, I don't think I have any ones that like if I was to, you know, get rid of, I would have, I would, you know, have any kind of sentimental, you know, value to it. Other than probably, like I said, the camera one, that one's definitely a sentimental, sentimental kind of attachment to it so that one is definitely not one i get rid of but the rest of them i probably would wouldn't mind getting rid of them if i had to like choose one and had to get rid of all of them um there would be no significant attachment to any of them i don't think um but yeah let me know you know you guys let me know which one was your favorite down in the comments so thank you so much for watching if you were new here be sure to subscribe so that you can see more fashion content because i do styling videos i do vlogs like car, car vlogs i've been doing those lately so thank you by the way those of you who have been watching and commenting we've been having some great dialogue so appreciate you guys that participate in those car vlog chats um just a way for me to kind of give you guys some style and a little bit of substance too so but yeah go ahead and like and subscribe if you like the video and i will see you all in the next one all right bye guys